And staying hydrated in Florida is a unique challenge. The heat and humidity in Florida can be brutal. It's like having a cup of water thrown in your face every couple seconds. My first half marathon I ran in Florida, I was getting water and power rate at every other stop, sometimes both at one stop. And I was always so thirsty and I couldn't figure out what was going on. After the race, I did a lot of research trying to figure out why, even though I was hydrating the whole time, I was so thirsty. I knew I was sweating more than I was drinking, but it just seemed abnormal. This is when I learned that it's very important to hydrate before the race. Depending on the race, I'll hydrate differently. If it's a short 5K, I may start hydrating a couple hours early. If I'm doing a marathon or half marathon, I'll start hydrating days in advance because I know I'm gonna lose a lot of water and your body can only absorb it so quickly. And as I was talking to one of the medical staffs, they talked about the importance of having an electrolyte balance. This is important anywhere you run, but in Florida, it becomes especially important. 